guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland Part 15. In the last part, we did Stage 3 and Stage 4 of Level 6 Egg Engines, and in this part, we're going to be doing Stage 5 and the Boss Stage, Stage 6, of Level 6 Egg Engines. Same thing. So basically, we're going to be finishing up Egg Engines in this video, which is awesome, because, uh, I'm kind of tired of Egg Engines, because it's a weird name. Who names her? Engines Eggs. Or has eggs shaped like engines, or engines shaped like animal. Whatever. Uh, anyways. So yeah, it's kind of exciting. We're gonna be done with the egg engines. We're gonna move on to the final level of the game. And hopefully defeat the final boss of the game. Not much trouble at all. But, I say that kind of, uh, sarcastically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, more than that, in future part until we get closer to the end, but we're not quite there yet. we still got to finish up these last remaining levels in this level in the next level, because the game just wants to test us even more, even though we technically defeated the final boss of the game with the Grand Doomer, but it wasn't that bad, so. Anyways, moving on with Stage 1, or Stage 1, Stage 5. Um, stage 5 is kind of an interesting level. Um, it's very unique in itself because uh, if you notice there's lots of things like objects that move downwards and push you down to the ground where you have to hide and stuff. Well, to get I think about three of the energy spheres at least in this level, you have to be good at that because as you'll see in this next room once I go into the store, I have to get the extra life first because you never know. Go on a losing life streak. Uh, but as you'll see here, uh, in this room, yeah. Notice how these rooms can easily squish you unless you get into a tiny, tiny space that they want you to go into. Yeah, uh, it's kind of dangerous in itself because, well, there's spikes, and the enemies don't really do much, I don't know why they're there, but Anna died trying to get the energy sphere on, energy sphere on the first try. Amazing, I know. Um, don't worry though, because if you die in this room, it just spawns you back into this room, so you can start from the beginning. Yay! Um, the, this little, this, there's three of them, and this is the first one. First one isn't bad. Um, I'd be glad. I'm, I, I would be glad that, uh, this one's pretty easy itself. All you have to do is run back and forth, make sure you don't get squished and spikes by the walls or whatever. The ceiling that's caving in. Um, the third one, I believe, is the one that's the toughest, so definitely want to watch out for that one. Um, the second one isn't too many, but whatever. Um, for now, we get the cutter ability. We're going to just cut our way through to uh, the final uh, stage of this, or finish this off, and then go to the boss stage, the final stage of this level, because I'm still tired of big engines. Um, and I see the winged ability, so I automatically was like, oh, I want that. I don't have a stupid cutter ability. Um, I kind of recommend, uh, the wing ability for this part of the level because you can easily fly up here with no trouble at all, you know, because it's not like enemies have been shooting at me or anything or trying to kill them, kill me with spikes. Um, mainly because the bottom, the bottom ground, it's moving very rapidly fast and, uh, those enemies are just on it they are going to fly into you and going to more than likely highly damage you or kill you almost. And that's really annoying, so I recommend getting a wing ability so you can fly all above that and get into this room. Um, it's, this energy sphere is actually really easy to get. All you have to do is throw the key on the conveyor belt and let it go through the gordos while you fly on over to the other side, get, grab the key, jump up, and uh, unlock the door, get the energy sphere, and leave. So it's actually not that. That one is not that bad. That's pretty easy, obviously. I got, I, I was like, they, did they expect you to get stuck on this, or what? Because it was really easy. Because most of the puzzles now in this part of the game, they expect you to get stuck on it, I think, because some of them made no sense. Uh, act quick, act fast. Um, this third energy sphere is, uh, in the middle of the room. Like, it's not the, it's not in the last part of the, this room. This last part. Um, as you can see, this one was pretty short and sweet and not that hard at all. Uh, but trust me, this the last one, uh, is actually pretty hard, so definitely want to be careful. Um, it's funny, the first four are really easy, and the last one's kind of difficult to do. Uh, one, the third, the 
the first, the third, and the fifth energy sphere are all, you get those in the squishy rooms, I call those, I guess you could say. Squishy rooms, because they try to kill you by squishing you. Um, the second and fourth ones are just ones you, you just get with the, out the squishy rooms. I don't know how else to say it, but they're, they're still about as easy as the first and third energy sphere to get. So, yeah, all you have to do is grab the crystal thing that uh, makes you invisible. All you have to do is run through the level, or this part of the level, with the crystal in, uh, in your hands as Kirby. And you'll easily just get through that part of the level, that's really easy. Um, it's really easy for this part of the game, honestly. I don't, I don't understand why they're so easy, but I won't complain. Uh, yeah, this is the room that's really difficult. Uh, you gotta be careful because they'll send, they'll send one squishy part of the room down, then they'll send the second half of it down. So you gotta be really, really careful. There's sometimes there's enemies on them. Sometimes you get tempted to get an extra life or some stars. I honestly wouldn't go for them if you, if you don't like these rooms and you're not good with them. Because you have to be really quick, uh, to get, to get the stars and stuff in the lives. Because if you don't watch it, you're gonna get squished more than likely. So, last part of it actually isn't bad. All you have to do is get the energy sphere before it disappears by the hands of the giant ceilings caving in in fourth. And then that's another level. So, overall, stage five isn't that bad. Definitely better than evil stage two, but the last one's a little bit difficult. Just be careful. That's all I can say. I've said that three times probably at least, if not four. Or more. So, you get to final stage of level 6 egg engines, the boss stage, stage 6, and might as well go defeat the boss, right? You know? So might as well, you know? There's nothing else to do, because we can't go anywhere else until we defeat the boss. Um, okay, this boss, for the boss for level 6 egg engines, uh, I don't know, I don't care uh, about those, any of those abilities. Or, uh, hi, uh, ooh, I don't know how to say it. Um, I probably should have grabbed one of those abilities. I'll just say that. I didn't die in the boss fight, I don't think. Because I, I remember I won this with the wing ability. I was like, you know what, let's wing, let, let's wing it and go and use the wing ability because I have an awesome, I think it's condor head attack that really does a lot of damage. Um, Sometimes they can throw feathers in space and they'll somehow magically damage him. He must be allergic. Uh, but that's allergy. I don't know how you can how can you be allergic to feathers, chicken? Um, but overall, the first part of the spot fight is really easy. He all he does is kind of bounce around with his uh, I don't know what you call it, like rocket boots or whatever. Sometimes launches mis m mini missiles at you and. Uh, yeah, they don't become mini anymore. He actually launches off in the second part of the battle. Uh, he launches off on a huge rocket ship thing, and he just flies away. And you have to wait for him to do it twice, because he won't come back the first time and land. Stupid. Uh, the first, uh, after the second time, as you can see, he damages, uh, damages you with fire, because he lands, he lands, like, awkwardly. And, like, I don't know why he crash it, he might as well take advantage of it, honestly, but... Whatever he wants to do just makes it easier for the boss fight. Um, that's really the only major attack that's different from the first half of the boss fight. He does throw these electric things, which you can suck up to get the light, uh, spark ability. Um, evil lightning ability. I, I could have done that, but I don't know why. I was determined to win this ability, which made it a lot tougher than it was. This boss fight is not tough. You just gotta dodge stuff. That is basically what you're supposed to do. That, like, weird. That glitched out. I, I like, it missed... I don't know. I'm just glad I don't record on my laptop anymore. It messes up sometimes like that. It, like, glitches out, like, a second of the video and makes no sense after the next second. I don't know. It's really weird. But I'm just glad I got my different computer and everything. Uh, yeah, I talked about the last part of this of Kirby. So, if you missed it, go watch part 14. Uh, anyways, as you can see, he's almost dead. I'm just desperately trying to kill this guy off because I was like, maybe I should have gotten a different ability because this is really annoying right now. I, I usually defeat this guy in like, well, I don't know, however long this has been going on for about three minutes, if not, give or take. 
almost three and a half minutes. Three to three and a half minutes. I usually can get this guy done in two minutes. I don't know why. Maybe I was messing around too much with being bored. And I lost it in the end. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just want. I'll just you know lose my ability and launch at him or whatever because there's no point in messing around anymore because it's really annoying. But yeah, that's it. Um. We don't have a ship part to collect this time, we're just gonna go talk to Megalore, Lore, Lore, Megalore, whatever you call him. Yeah, Megalore. Megalore. Yeah, Megalore. Um, he's just talking about the fearsome dragon of Holocondria Landia. Well, how, how did you not know he was there? I just thought of this. How did you not know he was gonna attack you when you landed back? Why didn't you think of a plan before we came back? If he is the, the deadliest animal on this planet, and he's a big old four-headed dragon that is that covers the whole planet of Holocondra. How did you not think of a plan coming back here thinking, all right, Kirby, when we land, we gotta figure out how, where we're gonna, well, when we go to Holocondra, we gotta figure out where we're gonna land. Why didn't he think of that? He just landed here thinking, all right, land you left, or whatever. But, with that aside, uh, we're in the final level of the game, like I said. Level seven. Dangerous Dinner. Now, that's actually kind of a funny name in itself, Dangerous Dinner, but I'll see you guys next time when we do Stage 1 of Level 7 Dangerous Dinner. See you guys then. Bye for now.